What are the five biggest mistakes you make when onboarding people into your organization? Hi, welcome to the Let's Talk Talent channel where we discuss the world of HR and talent management. We're here to help you unlock the potential in your people. We've been doing a lot of work recently with organizations on onboarding. I really like onboarding because it really joins the head and the heart. It pulls together the expectations and the reality of working in your organization. When I've run recruitment teams, we've always focused on the sell, the join up of the employee value proposition, and then it's sort of fallen short when people have come into the organization. So when you're thinking about onboarding, here are the five things to avoid. Don't just think about the day one experience, think about the pre-life experience. So are you creating, for example, a portal where people can log in and find out more or have a message from your CEO? Or is your manager calling you two or three days before you join the organization? Getting people to really understand why they picked you and feel really comfortable before they start is really important. So you focused on the pre-life experience. What happens in day one, week one? This is your early life experience, which goes from day one to about day 100. Now, what most people do is on day one and week one is that they fill a person's diary with meetings, with videos of compliance, of paperwork that they need to do. So really focus on that that's important, but spread it out. Think about the culture. So how are you getting people to really understand in that first week, in that first month, why they're working for you? So think culture over compliance. The third is about regular check-ins. And for me, that's where your managers really come in. So are they welcoming on day one? Are they having lunch? Are they creating a team event? How are they creating regular check-ins to show people what they do, how they do it, and give them feedback? The fourth is around feedback. And what I mean by feedback is not individual one-to-one -one feedback, feedback on the process. So we've just worked with a global charity and we've set up a 30, 60, 90 day feedback mechanism so that they can keep their induction agile and they can actually know what is going right and what is going wrong and adapt it. And the fifth and most important is don't leave your new starter on their own. Create a community. So a lot of people have created buddy systems, for example. That's a really fun way. But in working in a hybrid environment means you might want to do more stand-ups or some virtual get-togethers. Make people feel they're a part of a community, that they could grow connections across the organization. So start to review your onboarding process. Take out those five mistakes. I can tell you people will feel much more motivated, you will retain them, and they'll really enjoy working for you. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more useful HR and talent management video content. Hope you enjoy this video. See you next time.